the real question that for for me in the digital digitally enabled construction world is can we increase the value of what we do can we actually create more value in construction by the low hanging fruit is using materials more efficiently managing the supply chain more efficient more efficiently the higher hanging fruit has to do with why do human beings build buildings and what are we trying to make happen when a when we build an airport or a library there we're trying to make things actually happen we're trying to move passengers we're trying to distribute knowledge a digitally enabled industry allows us to define those things and measure them building information tools that are easily accessible readily accessible uh, starting to build large collections of data that are that can be accessible I mean, if you think about what happened with the internet, the internet was constructed out of lots of information that was not standardized. It was simply accessible. So if lots of stuff becomes findable, and then there are platforms like building information modeling or other kinds of collab collaboration platforms like HTML is to the internet, then that you have an organizing principle, which are these models, and you have these information pipelines and suddenly, when information starts to become fungible, the relationship between all these players can start to change. Well, manu manufacturers have a huge role in this question because they are the source of enormous amounts of information and insight. And so I think manufacturers have two possible uh, opportunities here. One is to find a way to create representations of their systems, and not just geometry, that's pretty easy, but information, real profound information that's suitable for analysis and simulation and make it accessible, that's number one. But I think the, the non-digital role is to find a way to have a presence in the design and procurement process that's earlier. Well, I think a digital construction industry has to work on two sets of problems at the same time. One set of problems has to do with the implementation of technology, and the other set of problems is business and process methodology change.